All right, let's go ahead and continue. We are on week nine for our language review, and today is Monday. Number one, countless tables held a plethora of food, salads, casseroles, bread, dips, appetizers, and drinks. The attractive spread of food made my mouth water. We were all eager to eat and enjoy the great variety of deliciousness that was set forth. Plethora means... Um, so just based on how it's being used, it's talking about a plethora of food, and then there's a long list of different food items that are available for selection. Um, also right here, it says great variety of deliciousness. Plethora is going to mean a wide variety of things, abundance. or excess, or a lot of something. Okay. Number two, circle the misspelled word and write it correctly in the space below. So we have respective, accidentally, and corrode. Accidentally is the word that is misspelled. Okay, it should have two L's. So A, C, C, I, D E N T A L L Y. Accidentally. Number three it says rewrite the sentence adding a non restrictive element using dashes. Remember, a non restrictive element is going to be extra information added to your sentence. In this case, we are using dashes. So it says, My mother doesn't have enough time to volunteer at school. The extra information is going to be about your subject. In this case, the subject is my mother. So I will put my first dash right there. And because she doesn't have time to volunteer at school, let's talk about the reason why. So I could say a Girl Scout leader, a coach, and a full-time doctor, okay, that's all describing my mother, and then I'm going to finish my sentence, doesn't have enough time to volunteer at school. So again, my non-restrictive element is this part right here, where I'm talking about my mother, saying she's a Girl Scout leader, a coach, and a full-time doctor. Um, so that's the extra information describing the mother. All right, number four, it's a circle the pronoun for the sentence, the correct pronoun for the sentence, and identify if it is subjective, objective, or possessive. All right, so it says, even though he or him loves school, he was just too sick to attend. So it kind of already gives you the a correct pronoun in the second part of the sentence. It would be he. So even though he loves school, he was just too sick to attend. Um, and then the way that it is being used in the sentence, um, it is actually the subject. So it would be subjective. Number five, choose the antonym. Okay, antonym means the opposite. We're looking for a word that means the opposite of optimistic. And the word that means the opposite of optimistic would be bleak. All right, we're done for Monday, week nine.